What's up, train buds? Today, uh, I'm going to show you how I made these trees, and I'll show you what I've accomplished so far with some of the uh, realistic uh, branches and stuff that I've used. I can see there's a lot more trees on the way out now. Um, so a little, little uh, zoom. Okay, um, now basically, I'm going to show you exactly how I've done, done these things. Um, um, most of the trees, again, like I said, the other part, these, um, these all these branches um, were cut from like um, bushes and stuff like that were dead in the forest. And so I used them for the layout, really to save some money. And trust me, I probably saved a, a good, you know, about 80 almost hundred dollars already um, so I mean this is I mean anybody could do this simple stuff um I've seen people done this do this stuff all the time man so I just use you know ideas and stuff like that you know so don't be afraid to use my ideas because they're not really my ideas I really started so um, you know please use this for the for your layout okay now I use different things here now you can see here like this tree and that tree and these trees over here those are what you, what you call um those are clump foliage okay now I've there's a trial and error with with these things and um, they really um, when you buy the woodland scenics um, the tree armatures all right they're a lot easier because they're more like plastic so it's easy to get the clump foliage on okay I had a tough time doing it because these are not real like plastic branches are real wood branches and so they, they break really easily so I use something else, and I learned from a, I have a, cl a woodland scenic clinic tape, and they use this this grass stuff here. All right, it comes in a package like this. You can show it again. This is lifelike, but um, and then modify to make it a little better. I mean, woodland scenic is a nice product, but this is this is really cheap, and, and it works really well. Okay, it comes out like this, and I'll show you how we did the trees, and I'll show you what they what the pro finished products are some of these trees, and I'll show you right here. Is that one? That one? The one up there. Um, these over here. One back there. That one all the way down there. And zoom closer up here. And that one there. Okay, so it takes it like a few seconds to make. So let me show you quickly how we do it. Okay, the stuff I use, okay, we're going to have a tree here, okie dokie, this is going to be it, there's another little short branch, um, glue, brush, um, some glue and water in it for later on to hold it together, okay, it comes out like this, alrighty, we're going to break it apart little pieces, okay, comes apart like that, now you take it and make tiny little pieces, okay, You know, put them in a little pile. Some can be big, some can be small. You know, it doesn't have to be really tiny. I found this the best way to do it because the other stuff is hard to get on because the branches break very easily. Okay, I'm not gonna do the full tree because I just realized I really little battery on my camera, and it's probably gonna shut off any second. So. I'll do one branch and you know, you'll see what the finished product with a couple of the trees. Okay, now I have it. There, okay? There it is. Now, I take my branches I have, okay, and I use and I do the top like this. And all the top stems. See, sometimes they come off, it's okay because this stuff's really light. Not heavy like the other stuff. No. Um, they say make it to a ball because it always looks like an umbrella and that's what people have trouble with that I know and I know tons of people make their own trees save tons of money so I want you guys to save money too you know it's a waste it's a waste you know eh. God gave us so many 
things to use. You know, why not use it all over again? Okay. Now, you can do one section at a time, depends on how big the tree is. Okay. I'm going to move this way. There we go. Okay. Got my tree. Okie dokie. I take that. And I place it on. Just like this. And you can shape it different type ways you want. Okay. Of course, the other ones will go around it so it'll look better than just that little umbrella. And there. They, there's your... Uh, there's your thing. Okay, now once the full thing's done, right, you know what, I probably have time. I hopefully have time. Let me do another section. Okay, let's do it again now. You know, and, and they say make it tiny, that's where you save a lot of it. You know, don't it comes into a bowl. You know, some some of them you might use a lot. So and I got this package for like five, six, seven dollars. Okay, and it, you can get a lot out of it. I get about four trees out of it. Depends how big the trees are. I have a few big trees, so I'd buy two of them because they, they use a lot of it for like three trees. The ones back there on the left mountain and the right mountain. Now you're gonna have all look like this hairy stuff, that's the thing, don't worry about it. So I'll tell you what you do after that. Okay, make a little bowl again. Nice little bowl. Okay, you see what I'm getting at, guys? Okay. Alright. <sighs> now I got the blue section. It's cool. You can do this like in front of television. You have tons of trees and tons of equipment, all that stuff. You could, you know, do this forever. And it's a lot of fun, really relaxing to do. And your trees really come to life because don't forget the bark is very real itself. So really, there's really no painting that stuff. Not much stuff to do on this, right? Right. Uh, Fix it any way you want. Okay, now. Now I'm saying is, it looks like that. Now, you have all this grass on the floor here. Take it up and use it. Don't waste it. And you, and this is what I do. To get that leaf look. You know, let's look at it look like much leaf. I take the, the glue and water, the glue and water mix. Oops, first, don't put on jet because you will kill it. on there and take this grass and sprinkle it on top it will stick and you know you get another coating you can use light uh, ground cover to uh, see this hides the hairy stuff that's on top never waste you always, and even if you have extra you save it for ground cover for the ground and stuff like that you can use the ground cover like I said you can use the ground cover for the top of the trees, you want a little lighter shades, like I use here. Okay, you do that actually, because that's most of my trees. Light, not a lot. Just enough. You get another section there. Don't even fall off, just put it back on because it's you know, Okay, and there's my tree. That easy. Okay, guys. So you know, use this, and it will help. You know, save money, and uh, and it's you know, it's it's fun to do. Okay, so uh, take care, guys, because I'm running over the time limit here for YouTube. All right, so uh, take care, and uh, good luck with this stuff. All right, bye.